Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Tab Active, and today I'll show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. With that being said, uh, the tablet that I have in front of me is in well, setup stage, but that doesn't change literally anything. So, uh, additionally, this will also allow you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you just don't know. I don't have the screen lock set, obviously, uh, it's in the setup stage, uh, but I will show you what you would need to do to perform this kind of reset if you had one, because it's a little bit different than if you know your screen lock. So typically when you try to turn off your device and you don't know your screen lock, uh, you would just kind of hold the power button and volume down, and then select, uh, well, power off, but it's in Polish, but in any case, you just uh, tap on that, and it will then give you a pop-up that you need to put in a screen lock for some idiotic reason. Now, the reason it is idiotic is because we can just grab a cable. We will need a cable, uh, no matter, because that's how we boot into recovery mode. So with that in mind, we're going to plug it in right away. And what you need to do is just hold power button and volume down, uh, but you're going to hold it for longer. You will hold it as long as it takes for the device to actually turn off. These two buttons, the power button and volume down, is a kind of like a shortcut for force uh, restart of a device, kind of like a reset button on a computer. So we're going to hold it. Uh, obviously, in typical circumstances, uh, when you have your lock screen visible, you want to interact with the display because once it switches uh, off, uh, you want to see it. And then when it turns off, you want to switch to volume up instead of volume down. So in a second, once it boots up, there we go. I'm going to recap it. So uh, from a lock screen, hold the power button and uh, volume down. And you do want to interact with the display because it might time out quicker than the actual uh, reset uh, reset timer takes. So just inter touch the display, just fiddle around with the pattern or pin or password. And once the screen turns off, it means that the device actually turned off and you want to immediately switch from volume down to volume up. And this will then put you into the into the recovery mode. Now, in here, we can also get rid of the uh, cable because it was only needed to get us into the recovery mode. Because, again, Samsung is trying to be annoying. No other device needs that. Uh, now, in this mode, we will need to use the volume buttons. Uh, either volume down to navigate down or up to navigate up. And with that in mind, you want to select Wipe Data Factory Reset. Once it's selected, confirm it with the power button. Then select Factory Data Reset. At the bottom, you'll see that it's formatting data and then data wipe complete, at which point Reboot System Now will be selected by default. So all you need to do now is press Power button once again. This will now initiate a reboot of the device and continue the resetting process of it in the background. I should also add, uh, probably should have started with that, uh, that when doing this in order to remove a screen lock, uh, most people also have a Google account sign in on the device. So what that will uh, entail is, is that your device will become FRP locked. And when the reset is finished and you're going through the setup process, it will force you to verify either the screen lock that was previously used on the device or the Google or Samsung account. And normally I would be making a video on how we can bypass this, but as far as I know, uh, for this device, there isn't one. Maybe there isn't one just yet. Uh, I don't know. It's a running, I assume, a newer version of Android, which I haven't really checked. So, or Android, more like the uh, Samsung skin over it, which comes with their own like security patches. So there might be some way to bypass this later on, as there previously were uh, ways to bypass this, but I don't know if maybe they patched all of them or not. At the moment, I don't have any that work. So just wanted to point that out for people that might be interested in this.
and as you can see the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching